Today I'm going to show you how to create this image in Lightroom using this image. A couple quick features on this image is it's a bright background with a much darker foreground that was in a shadow. The first thing to do is notice the crooked horizon, so I'm going to fix that. To do that, I select the crop tool, click on the angle tool, and just draw a line flat across the horizon. Lightroom will automatically correct the horizon level then. I should have been using the camera's built-in level feature, but I forgot to with this image. Secondly is the white balance is all wrong with this shot. This is shot using a technique called Uni White Balance, which basically just gives you a histogram that shows the raw data, at least the dark points and the bright points. So we can see here that based on the raw data, there was very little to no clipping in this image, maybe just a tiny bit over here in the corner. And that's in the white cloud, so it's not really that noticeable. So to correct the white balance, I just did a custom white balance. I leave the crop tool. And then I just drag the white balance slider until it looks about like what it should, which I found earlier to be about 4650. And then the tint tool to plus 15. To get close to these numbers, I could use Lightroom's preset for daylight. And the next thing I did is I set the exposure to set the light level in this area. I found about two-thirds of a stop it was about right. And then I set the black levels to set the shadows. And then I used fill light to fill in the darker areas just above the shadows. And then I use recovery to help bring out the clouds and stuff. And what I found is the sky was till, still too bright when the foreground was exposed how I wanted to. So I made a gradient filter, made it about minus 0.8, about almost a stop, f stop. And then all I do is drag that down here like this, and that brings out the blues in the sky. And then the next thing I did was adjust the brightness and contrast a bit. And I generally just drag these sliders until it looks about right to my eye. And then up to clarity. Clarity just makes the edges appear a little harder or softer. Like that. And now you'll notice there's one problem left with this image, is that the sky is the correct white balance. That's where I set the white balance sliders over here. But the problem is the foreground is still too cool temperature because that was in the shade. So I want to make the foreground temperature warmer relative to the sky. And the way to do that is I can use another gradient filter and just make it neutral for exposure and everything and set the color of that to a warmer color, a yellowish orange. So maybe right about there. And then drag this up here. And you can see how that warms the foreground right up to match the background. This took me a while to learn because I kept getting these images and I'd push the shadows a lot and then the foreground would be too cool relative to the background and it just doesn't look natural. It doesn't look how my eyes saw the scene. So by doing this, it, allow, it warms up the foreground a lot so that it looks much more like a continuous picture. It kind of emulates an HDR effect to some degree, but even the HDR is going to be too cool down here. The, next, the last thing is, is there's this unsightly solar panel right here. It powers a little filter in the water, but I'm going to get rid of that using the clone tool. All I do is select a large area of it and go to a similar feature. I'll use this other rock over here because it matches fairly well. The mouse is stuck in something. And 
and then I made it a little too big if I make it a little smaller. And then for this next section, I'll just move it over here. And those kind of proceed across the rock here. Don't worry too much about the grass, it looks all that ratty anyway. And then I can't forget the cable. The last little bit of cable might be a little hard to get. I won't worry about it because it just looks like a piece of grass or something. And then there, that solar panel is all gone. And then that's how we got to that image. Thanks for listening.